Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can connect Zoho CRM to your website, most likely on WordPress. So let's get right into it. Now, as you can see, I have this here tab open. This is the connecting your website with Zoho. This pretty much outlines all of the Zoho apps you might want to use and to embed into your site. Now, it depends on which app you're using and which site you are using as well. I don't have a site, so I won't be able to show you exactly what that looks like. But as you can see, you can create portals where customers or partners can access and update some information in your CRM. Uh, you can embed lead forms or use the WordPress plugin. And if you use their forms, you can just add embeds into your site if you know how to code it. Excellent. If you don't, you can use other services such as Squarespace, which will make your life a bit easier when making your site or the WordPress plugin works perfectly fine as well. Now, as I mentioned, I don't have a site, neither WordPress nor anything other of the sort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this tab, which is the Zoho uh, integration for uh, what's it called WordPress uh, that I mentioned over here. It is this link right over here or rather right over here. So you can just easily install that and use it. And what you need to do is just install the forms plugin from the WordPress plugin marketplace, then create a form using Zoho CRM web forms, configure the settings for your form, use the short code to embed the form, and then uh, the information is automatically captured upon entering your site. And that is pretty much it. Uh, and to install this, all you need to do is just upload the plugin folder to the WordPress content plugins directory or install via the add new plugin menu. You can download the file from here, then just activate the plugin through the plugins menu. And then uh, once you activate the plugin, you'll be asked to authenticate access from Zoho CRM. And to do that, just log into your account on Zoho. And that should be pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.